Anyway, I better be off. I mean, I'm glad that you guys are doing okay, so that's all that, that's all that really matters. And also, I really like the tridents. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to try and get one. I was going to say steel, but I feel like steel is such a strange word that, you know, I don't think I should use the word steel, if you know what I mean, because... You know, I don't, I'm going to ask for one, and then they'll give me one, you know, and then I'm not going to steal it, obviously, but you you get what I mean anyway, but um, yeah, I better get going anyway, so um, thanks for letting us in, I guess, I mean, the boss is over there, but um, thanks for letting us in, okay, let's come on down and let's have a look, I mean, pretty sure Reese has been taking loads of pictures, I mean, he took a picture, I walked right through the gate, and I look, and I see him, and he's taking a picture of me right there, and I don't know why, but... He did, it's weird, but he's been taking loads of pictures, I mean, I'm glad that it's actually giving, it's given him something to do, and that's most important, but I mean, he's been taking pictures of everyone, he took pictures of Keenan, he took pictures of Gavin, he took pictures of Galago, who has that, the leaf and badge on, and then Donovan as well, sorry, excuse me guys, Donovan has the RV badge as well, which is pretty cool, and then we've just got the normal armour, I guess, I mean... Uh, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I mean, the Curse and Taints have it as well, and if I can get a proper look at someone who has it, hold on. Hmm, actually, we can, yeah, if we can climb back up here quietly, we can see their backs, and I'll show you. Uh, look at that. They've got the trident on their back, and me and Luna, as well as some others, I mean, we're going to get word, or we're going to work on some things. So, hopefully by the end of this, the kingdom are going to have their own logo. I believe they already have a logo, but it's just a matter of putting it on their armor, but I know they already have their, like, SWAT riot gear thing i don't know so if that's going to be their armor then we just have to find a way to put the logo on that but the curse and taints have their tribe or their trident I, I guess on the back of theirs and then we've obviously got the trust token and then alexandrians i'm not quite sure what alexandrians are going to have and then there's people at the hilltop to be honest i don't think they're gonna have anything really but I suppose it all boils down to what they actually end up deciding to do. But I'm not going to lie. Okay, this is a little bit weird. But Tony, obviously, he's gone to his natural hair color, which doesn't seem as weird because he had red hair anyway. It's just more orange than red now. Hal kept his hair color. Keenan has got his natural hair color again. And it's just pretty much the same other than certain patterns are gone. Um, Robin and Elle, they kept their normal hair colour, except Elle dyed her hair a bit dark as a, as a darker purple, because she liked the purple, but she didn't want it to be the hair colour she was given when she was tortured, so she changed it. Um, Gavin kept his as well. Um, Little Birdie kept his, oh no, he didn't keep his, he, he swapped his, which is quite cool, because it's actually darker in the middle, and I mean, that's pretty cool, I believe Reese took a picture of him, so that's pretty cool, and then we've got Corey over here, who actually has a blonde, or I mean, if you can really call it blonde, it's kind of like a blondy brown kind of streak in his hair, and that's natural as well, because, um, some people actually have that, I believe my cousin has it, but it hasn't kind of like, fully grown into, I don't know, but then, also, this is what I was talking about, okay? I was talking about, at the hilltop, about Mr. Levi and Ellen, right? This lady here, speaking to each other. They got here, I introduced them, and they haven't stopped talking since. So, I'm thinking that things are going well. I mean, they could be arguing, I don't hear them arguing, but... They definitely hit it off big time, and then over here, we delivered all the horses back as well, which is good, because they wanted those back, but we've got Andy and Ebony. Ebony's doing well, I mean, she could be doing better, you know, considering, I don't even know whether she was shot or hit with a Molotov, I'm not 100% sure, but she's up, she's walking around, they've both gone back to their natural hair colours. Ebony used to have green hair, but hers is kind of, it's kind of strange, because I suppose her hair is naturally black, but because of the green, it's kind of like a green tint to it. Andy's hair is just naturally blonde, which is quite cool, actually. So I kind of, I really like that, but she's, she's alright, she's doing okay, but she could be doing a lot better. It's going to be a while until she's fully healed, or that is, if she ever is fully healed. But right now, she's doing better than she was, so that that's the main thing. 
they replanted all these crops as well, and there is so much that's happened. I mean, they got rid of all the leaves here that was covering it, like camouflage. Hashima is trying to teach Glider, a penguin, to fight, and it's not working out as well. Buddy already knows how to fight, but Hashima's trying. His or her. I'm not actually 100% sure what gender it is. I believe Luna said her at some point, but for some reason I got it in my head that it was a, uh, that Hashima was a he. So maybe Hashima is a she. I don't know. But um, you know, Luna has also introduced Duck to her parents, and I don't know if they're overly fond of him. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, they obviously knew him before as well. I mean, they introduced. It's confusing because I don't know because D when Duck was with Luna. Duck was there with Luna's parents as well, unless Luna's parents never actually met Duck, and Duck was just a friend that they didn't know about. I don't know, but I don't seem overly fond of him, but at the same time, they don't seem to dislike him, but... Um, hey, um, sorry. Sorry to interrupt, I, I really am sorry. But, um, I wanted to introduce myself. You know, I know Luna's introducing Duck to you. He's a good friend of ours. Um... I am Ryan, okay, I am the leader of a small, or I say small, a group of 40 plus, maybe, maybe more than that, I don't, I'm not 100% sure right now because, you know, we lost quite a few people so I'll have to count it up, but I am the leader of a community named Far Row, and, you know, as um, you may or may not know, I am very well acquainted with your daughter and, you know, all the armor, the stuff, you know, this, I, I made all of this. And then, as for the armor for the Curse and Taints, which is these people, and I suppose you're part of the Curse and Taints, I don't know the name of this community yet because I believe Luna hasn't given it, given it a name, but it does also come down to the other leaders as well. So, I just wanted you to know um, that... I'm glad you're alive, you know, the way Luna spoke about you both and the way she spoke about what she thought she'd done to you was crazy, I mean, you you should be proud, very proud, and you know, although she did what she did, look at her now, right, I mean, I think the scar she's got is, um, you know, enough evidence that something happened, I mean, you've got scars as well, but... You get what I mean, okay? So, I just wanted to let you know that I'm Ryan, you know, I'm the leader. If you ever need anything, let me know. I'm sure Luna will come and speak to me and she'll tell me if you guys need anything anyway. But, other than that, um, I'll let Luna and Duck keep speaking to you both and um, I'll see you around, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, Hey, Andrew. Okay, so let's come through here. I believe, I believe Luna has Joel in her room still and I don't particularly... Wanna actually who am I kidding? I'm gonna go in there. But yeah, she's still got Joel in the cell. I believe Reese came and took I don't know if Reese can remember that it was Joel that shot him. I don't know if he can remember that. But I know he came in and took a few pictures. I believe he took a picture of um just a full body of Joel and then he took um Joel's a picture of Joel's eyes and jaw and then his arms that aren't there as well but they've done a lot of work since we I was expecting to come here and even though a lot not much building needed to be done but I was expecting to come here and help them with building but they've already extended the wall the wall is double the size in height that it used to be they rebuilt the gate they've rebuilt the area where the horses are and not only that but they extended it so that they've got a load of area to move but then they also extended the walls and now they've got the walls surrounding these shops which I don't know what they're going to do with them they maybe keep them as shops or trade stations or supply but I'm not 100% sure yet they haven't told me but then we've got a hotel or it's not a hotel but it's kind of like a business building so they'll turn it into a hotel and then here they've got apartments, or at least I believe they're apartments. I haven't actually had a proper good look here. I mean, they, these are shops all on the lower floors. They're all shops, but if you come up here, I believe these are actually... Yeah, these are apartments, look. So there is quite a lot going on, and then I can get on the roof here. So I didn't actually know that I could get on the roof here, but... I guess I can, because I just found it, but everyone's working hard. I mean, Spy's up here. He went back to his natural hair color. Dante and Danny didn't go back to their natural hair color. Um, not hair color. Hair color. Um, Luke 
went back to his natural hair color, which is slightly blue tinted, although I believe it actually is his natural hair color. The blue tint was there before he got his hair dyed, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. And then Tyler's stayed the way he is, and then we just got M and Preston. Preston went back to his natural hair color as well. So, I mean, they're definitely going back, and I mean, I'm still, I mean, the others I'm getting used to, you know, I, you know, it's fine, because I didn't really see them very much with their coloured hair colour, but with Luna and her going back to her natural hair colour, that's a little bit weird, as well as Corey as well, because I'm so used to seeing them with these bright hair colours that it's just strange seeing them without them, and um, Emily and Krista are here as well, but... It's it's just weird. I mean, M stuck with her natural or not her natural, her dyed hair color, and maybe she'll die again. But I mean, they've done so much work. All things considered, you know, I'd say they've done a really good job. And I need to eat. But I'd say that they've done a really good job with the place. I mean, it doesn't have a name yet. I believe um, Robin L. Um, Corey and Luna were working on a name as well as with some help of Keenan. Gavin and Luna's parents as well, and Andrew as well, of course, and everyone else, obviously. But they've all been working on a new name or a name for this place, considering it never had one. I don't know what they're still going to be called the Cursentates, so their group name is the Cursentates. But their place, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what they're gonna name it. I, I really don't. They just. I mean, they've been asking me for ideas, so I almost said I'm gonna name it. But they've been asking me for ideas as well. But I struggled to come up with a name for my community for so long. I don't really know if I can help them think of one for theirs. I just, you know, I'm gonna help them out as much as I can. But I don't really know how much I can really help. But you know, I mean, it's. It's hard to believe how far everyone's come. I mean, it wasn't long ago that we were all fighting against the saviors. It wasn't long that we were breaking down the saviors' gate and attacking them with walkers. And it wasn't long before we were shooting each other every day. And it wasn't, you know, it's weird because we're going back to the way things are meant to be. Not people versus people, but people versus walkers. And... There are no walkers. I mean, on the way here, we saw about, I don't know, about 18 maybe walkers. But we saw no more or no less than that. I mean, or actually, we probably saw less than that, to be honest. But it's just a bit weird, and I don't really know what's going on. But it almost feels like someone is gathering walkers and stockpiling them somewhere. And it sounds so weird, but I can't shake the thought of that. And I, I don't know, but... It's crazy to think how, you know, how far everyone has come. I mean, this community, you know, it's crazy to think that, I mean, we've come this far, right? I mean, hopefully we'll last a lot longer, but, you know, most of all, we have come this far.